Hi guys. Working with a special needs child means that your children can be pretty medically complex. Now the one thing you have to worry about or understand about medical complexities, in most cases it just doesn't have to do with the condition. I'll see people like that they say that, oh my child has CP so they're so sick all the time. Well, you don't have a sick child because you have a CP. You have a sick child but you have CP. They're two separate issues and they really need to be looked at. And things happen. So one of the things that, is that you have is I have a lot of clients that are in the hospital. You don't realize what an IV does. Now I teach this in a lot of my trainings of just these glasses, what that'll do to you. Um, glasses on, glasses off. Even if I just I, then I go around training and do something like this, I'll put, and I just did this in Scotland, I'll put a pair of glasses like that on, on somebody. It's unbelievable. The worst thing you can possibly do is an eye watch, the, the, the watches, because they have a gyroscope there and the way they go into you, I'm telling you, you're gonna blow your back out. But that's a whole nother story. It doesn't take much. A simple IV, if you remember, if you've ever been in the hospital and that you ask you to sign, you're like literally like this. You, you, it, it so breaks you down, your system down. Why? Because, and again, another thing that I've taught the master in the touch trainings, you have an IV. The epidermis is not meant to have holes in it. One of the reasons why when you have surgery and you get cut, you know, even though you have elective surgery, it hurts. The, the whole reason you have skin, your epidermis, is to protect you from gravity, right? No matter what I do, and this is where the absolute horizon comes into play and so forth, no matter what I do, and this is where people get really wrong with the reflexes, is that that epidermis is there to regulate the bones in with the muscle mass, in with the movement around the epidermis. And the epidermis makes gravity a constant around our system. When you are interrupting the epidermis, especially right at that moment, and you're putting an IV in, and again, we're here for life support. We're not here to say, don't do an IV on my child. But as having a son who's had 29 surgeries plus 48 days in the hospital and everything else, which is nothing compared to some other clients that I have, um, you know, these things have to be taken into consideration. So when you have an IV, you have to remember that the, the, the epidermis is now being compromised, right? So then you, you have the IV itself where they're taping and they're, they're putting that on. I know it seems like a couple of ounces, but you're putting the IV, especially in the arm, there's fascia in between. And this is not fascia release or anything like that. But first of all, you've got to really check that IV to make sure you're not blowing out between the, the ulna and the radius, that the fascia in there. Um, I catch that all the time, blown IVs into that, and it ripples the fascia, and it really wrecks the, the midline organization of the arm. That, and depending on how they have the child and where they're placing it, it could really compromise the breathing, because now you've got a really heavy arm on a, you know, and you've got a child on oxygen support, and you're trying to make them breathe, and you've got the arm over it. Now, yes, you can move the arm, but I just want to go into that. So, now here I am. And excuse me for lack of better presentation. I'm just going to take my um, hair clip and put this onto the arm. And again, you're going to be like, Michelle, why are you doing that? You're talking about IVs. But it's the same kind of concept. If I have something like this going on, right? And now, now my child is going like that, right? Um, again, movement is movement. And lack of movement is lack of movement. So when the IV is going around, and this might be the most stable place. If it is the most stable place, please don't say, oh, I need to take the arm off, right? This is also might be the most comforting thing. It might be the way that the child is laying. If you can, I ask this when people have ventilators, and, and I suggest it all the time, and, and very few people do it. Have a small bar or something like that that you can lift this off just a little bit so the chest can expand a bit more. It's one thing to breathe when you have a vacuum, when the vacuum has been interrupted and that vacuum can be interrupted due to intubations. Um, even the IV can, can interrupt the vacuum of the breath, right? Because again, now you're dealing with gravity at a different level and that's where you're breaking into the epidermis and can have those problems and so forth. But, but still, have the person where you're at that you're working on and literally... This is micro movements, but you want to bring the breathing back into all areas. You want to support that area of the body if they're up on their side. And this is not a horrible time to, to prop or put a towel back here um, and so forth. Because again, the comfort of your child is the most important thing. And you're going to go into that. 
but again and 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 corin i just saw you you've been been through it don't think twice about again look at where i'm at i'm so low to this guys i'm here and just bringing up again that little bit of weight transfer whatever you can now you can do and, and you get this a little bit in my spml course for those of you who've done it that that detailed kind of thing but please just don't think about doing this kind of detail in with a child. Notice I'm not compromising the IV. Notice I'm not moving the equipment, but I'm just here and I'm gonna go really low and really simple. I hope this is something none of you have to deal with, but unfortunately more and more you do have to deal with it. And this would be one way of working with it. Again, please make sure that that IV stays intact. It doesn't get blown out. It needs to get changed. I know you don't wanna change it. It needs to be, you know, but, but just getting that fluid dynamics into that because the valve gets blown and, and so forth and that IV is, is not taking anymore. Um, just the swelling in the arm and so forth, again, can, can make that breathing more laborious. From, from this side, again, you can see where my doll's flopping just from that weight of, of my, my, my fake ID, IV. But again, you're just going to be, again, look how low I'm getting, guys. I'm not up here working. You know, when I need this kind of detail, it's like shooting pool. And I'm just going to get in here, and, and this is what I'm doing. But you need that that breath to go with it. That's your objective, is, is the breathing. So I'm going to bring this back. So the, what you're doing here, right, is, is you want that breath to happen. This is something I work with, with, with baseball people, right? Because they, they're sitting there with their catcher's mitt. I know it's something completely different, but they have that. They don't know to breathe away. They're used to doing this, especially when they're going into, they've had a growth spurt, and you want that breath away, right? It's sort of the same concept that you're there. You can't sit there and say, oh, IV heavy, and bring it off that way. You still want to connect it to the system, but you're really going to be working on that detailed work, and um, that's one option that you have working around IV. Obviously, it always helps for me to see a video first because it's not necessarily one size fits all, but it's really important that, again, because it's compromised within the skin, the skin has been cut, and, and you know, again, even just a hole puncture, and you don't think it's much, do it to a ball and bounce it. Even if you tape it back up, you lose the dynamics of the, the buoyancy that's in the system, especially when it's being compromised at that time, especially when the life functions are being compromised, such as breathing, and they all need to be taken into consideration.